sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Time for our next dogfight. This one is a European shootout. We've got the Eurofighter Typhoon versus the Rafale. This was requested by Steve S. Thank you, Steve. A couple of valued viewer complaints or comments to deal with. Merge. Why are you merging before the fight? It's just a gentleman's rule we've put in place to make sure the fight's fair. Remember, what we're trying to do here, as well as having some fun, is to see which plane is better in a dogfight. Therefore, it's very important we be as fair as possible, like doing other things like changing around which aircraft we're driving halfway through and whatnot. Finally, other guys in their dogfights do pre-turning before the merge. Fine, I'm sure that's perfectly realistic and whatnot, but it's not something we're going to do in our gentleman's agreement for our merge. Again, we want everything 100% fair on each aircraft. So no pre-turning, we'll merge and then we'll fight. Any complaints about that, Simba? No, I mean, there is such thing as lead turning, but then there's the Syrian lead turn, which is if you try to pre-turn too soon and then all you do is kind of put yourself in a bad spot so for our viewing pleasure we try to do the gentleman's agreement of post-merge so that we're not really skewing the turn rates of the planes let's talk about today's combatants and i'm not gonna lie i am massively biased here we've got the eurofighter typhoon it is the vsn mod version luidate jan 2021 in case you want to go and retry what we're doing to prove that we're doing it right and on the other side we have the rafale this is a qesta mod luidate june 2021 and i will link them in the video description flight models of both of these are sfm standard flight models they are the least uh, realistic type of flight models and they can fight against each other as long as they don't try and fight an sfm against an efm an afm or a pfm we consider that a legal valid a useful fight wait here's where it gets a little iffy especially with these two planes let's start with the typhoon in real life the empty weight is 24,251 pounds, very similar to that, with half fuel is 31,500 pounds. For reasons we just can't understand, in game, this mod is 5,250 pounds heavier. Why they would make it heavier in game, I have no idea, but that's just how it is. Wait for the Rafale. In real life, empty, 23,400 pounds. Uh, the model we're using, the mic model I think we're using, there are several different versions, obviously. Half fuel in real life, £28,563. Another strange thing about that is it's £7,000 lighter in game. I mean, that is a massive amount. Some planes don't even weigh £7,000. In game, they've decided to make it £7,000 lighter. That's just how it is. There's nothing I can do about that and I can't argue about it. Static sea level thrust of each aircraft for the Eurofighter Typhoon is £40,000. For the Rafale is £34,000 giving them a real-life thrust-to-weight ratio of 1.26 of the Eurofighter Typhoon, which is good. It's not quite as good as a Raptor in that lot, but it's, you know, it's up there. And 1.19 for the Rafale, which is also pretty good. Again, not Raptor-ish, but pretty good. Here's where it's important. In-game, for the weights they've put, is 1.08 for the Eurofighter, which is getting a lot poorer. And for the Rafale, it's a completely unrealistic 1.58 in-game. Why they've done that, I don't know. Again, there's not much I can do about it. Talk to the mod devs. Air to air weapon stations, not relevant in a dogfight, but 10 for the Eurofighter in game, 9 for the Rafale in game. Hob, high off bore sight missiles, missiles that can turn big angles. In the Eurofighter, no in the game. There are A9 mics, and that's as high as it goes. In real life, yes, it does carry Hobbs. Nothing we can do about that. Rafale, same stories. In real life, it does have hobs like Mika IR, Mika IR. They do not work as hobs in the game. They work as non-hobs. They work very similar to a uh, Magic 550s in this case, old 70s, 80s uh, missiles. HMD. In real life, both of these aircraft have HMD. In the game, the Typhoon does not. The Rafale does. Don't know why, that's how it is. Do either have any special talents or special abilities like thrust vectoring? No in real life, no in the game. So, your predictions please, Simba. I'm going to go with the Raphael. I really want to go with the Typhoon, but looking at these numbers, the Rafael is completely skewed, so it's almost certainly going to win. But I'm going to try my absolute hardest in the Typhoon. 
like normal, we'll swap around halfway through the fight to make sure that everything's fair. That's everything addressed. Stand by. Look, I've never flown a Eurofighter before, and I know this is really just an F-15 cockpit, but look, I'm in a Eurofighter. Mama, mama, I'm in a Eurofighter. Why did they make such a pretty plane? Ready? Let's friggin' do this, baby. Those Eurojets. God, they sound good. Shoot. Shoot. And... Gentlemen's merge. Come on, big typhoon. Ah, come on, come on. Yes. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Miss, baby. Missile, 12 o'clock. Ah. Minimum speed. Shoot, shoot. Get behind his plane, get behind his plane. Aha! I might have just screwed you there. Nope. It's a cheeky little move, Simba. That's bad. I'm going to get you. He's dumped all his energy. Look, Valley viewers. He's dumped it. He's Shoot. mine. Shoot. Okay, let's do it. Try and displace him. Wow, how did you do that? That's okay, because I can do that. Ah, sugar. Don't worry, Valley viewers. My beautiful typhoon will get me out of trouble. Eject. Oh, crud. Eject. Okay, you won that one. Fine. engine fire. Uh, one thing is, I forgot to put the uh, bottom bar on at the screen so the valid viewers can see my uh, my G and whatnot. So can we exit? I'm gonna just put that back on, please. Uh, that was a bit of a cock up from me. I went into that with a you know with a kind of one circle solution in mind, like I had a hob or something, messed it up, and then from then on I was just on the back foot because I'm pretty sure that plane is kinematically superior. So we're gonna have to scratch the one circle solution and have a bit of a different game plan. I've also got my bar at the bottom now, so you can see what I'm doing. And merge now and fight. Oh, not again. Why? My favourite plane. Are we doing this? Missile six o'clock high. Am I dead? I'm back. Missile six o'clock high. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Am I? Am I on fire? What's going on? No, I'm not. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, I did that. Oh, sugar. Are you still alive? You're alive, aren't you? Yep. Okay, weirdest dog I've ever had, the other viewers, but it is what it is. I'm pretty much dead. Right. Shoot. Shoot. Yeah, you're dead. It says you're dead, yeah. Oh, man, that was... Okay. Uh, I never saw any of that. I was spinning around in circles, completely blacked out, just flaring. And when I came back, you were right in front of me. So, chalk one up for the Eurofighter, I say. Ready. And go. Right, got to watch my speed, Valley viewers. Uh, fight. Over G, over G, over G. Shoot. Fight some. We got ourselves in a death spiral, my friend. Dang it! Oh man! 
I mean, I what just waiting on you to pan out. Yeah, what we usually see at the bottom of that, uh, the bottom of that spiral, the, usually the first guy that hits the ground, I don't mean hit the ground and like smash into it, usually the first guy to hit the deck and then straighten out is the, usually the guy that loses. Um, so I probably would have lost that even if I didn't muck up. This very much reminds me of the Gripen versus Rafale fight, you know what? Oh, sugar! Oh, I'm having such a bad time today. I just can't fly. Get your nose down, you stupid piece of... Jesus Christ. Oh, bye bye Wire is not doing his friggin' job, Valley viewers. I've just completely lost my game plan. Ah, it's terrain. God damn it. Good fight. I just, uh, I worked myself into a corner there. Running out of ideas, valued viewers. What do I do? What do I do? I need something against... I need to find a way. Right, back we go. Right now you're playing into my leafing game and I've... I know, I know, that's... that's a... ...leafing when you don't leaf with me. I'm, uh, yeah, I can see myself getting in that slow game and then Eurofight, I just can't do it. I, I went into a massive flat spin there and um, I just recovered and at that point I was just, I couldn't get it back. I'm just going to have to go rogue here, guys, because normal kinematic fights are just not working for the Eurofight at the moment. Personally, I think they would in real life, but... This isn't real life at the end of the day. Uh, I've got to work with what I've got. Say when you're ready, Simba. Watch this, valid viewers. Gentlemen's merge. I'm not going to win a falling leaf with him. I've got to do something different, valid viewers. Too far away for a shot. In theory, I should have bigger engines than him. Lure him in. Sugar, this terrain is not what I thought it was going to be. Simba, I worked for that. I worked for that. I worked my little tush off. Ah. God. Right, so I couldn't beat him. Whatever I do, valid viewers, I inverted. I went vertical. I'm pretty sure it's pointless just turning this into a rape fight. Every time we got slow, he was just turning like a raptor or a, you know. And so in the end, I just had to use smarts and spin around mountains and hope I'd catch him out. And we did there. So you won three to two, Simba. Yay. Annoying, but that's the way it is. Did the best I could. Uh, we are gonna swap round. Stand by. Right now, I've got the the tight kinematics. So let's see how this goes. So when ready, and gentlemen, merge.
Launch authorized. No more services resumed. I got the kinematics now. It's the hell of a mountain display, man. God, it's good. Launch authorized. Launch authorized. Minimum speed. Minimum speed. Woo -hoo -hoo! Fuel, Skip a Wimba. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> it's not an easy fight, Skip a Wimba. I tried to stay in the sun longer than you. You did. almost worked. Almost worked. I couldn't see anything. I was just, I was just locking and firing, locking and firing. The good thing is, it won't fire until it. This plane won't fire until it gets a lock, so I couldn't fire a Duff missile out. Okay, I can't actually find a way to lose. I can just turn so quick, power to weight, everything is so stupidly good on this. Are you ready? In real life, I'm pretty sure they're going to be about even in real life. In DCS, not so much. They're pretty much night and day in DCS. Oh, he's going to do the... I mean, that's what you have to do, Simba. If you, if you can't beat kinematically, you've got to find a way of winning. There are no rules in dogfighting. And I have got to do what I can do to, to combat that. Clouds, you can use clouds, you can use sun, you can use whatever you want. Come on, get the shot, 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 get the shot. Launch authorized. Not much he can do up there, he's against a cold sky. Missiles in track, I don't know why missiles in track, it's a gunfight. That is annoying. Brother, yeah! This thing's got frigging burst restriction on it. He's into a knife fight. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to win that one, baby. God, the difference. Look at that. I can just drop on you, Simba. And just have to shoot a wheel. I can just shoot a wheel. Would do if I select cannon. Which I didn't. Oh, what a fight. What a fight, Simba. I feel so sorry for you in that thing. Got it in the favorite right. flat spin. Right, let's keep going. That's three, two more to go. What has Simba got? What can he find that could possibly upset? So he can't beat me in the plane. The plane can't win, but can he beat the driver? Can he find a way to upset the driver? That's what his mind's got to be. For me, I've just got to keep doing what I'm doing because I know I've got the plane for it. Merge and fight. Lost sight. Fuel, 1500. Where is he, valid viewers? I know he's down there somewhere. I know he's down there somewhere. But two things I could do here, valid viewers. I could just... I could just, you know, pepper the whole ground with my radar and pick him up by fluke. Or try and do him, get him visually. And I think probably... There he is! There he is, found him. Shabba diga fundun. Okay, he's out of range. Oh, low. hello. Missile 12 o'clock low. Launch authorized. That's dead, he's dead. Whee! Yeah, I dodged the side wonder easily. Right, one more go. Uh, we can see where this is going, guys. Yep. I'm gonna just have some fun with this one. Off we go. Fuel, 1500. I lost him in the murk. I lost him in the murk. I found him again. I got him. Launch authorized. Helmet mountain display. Not much Simba can do against that. Launch authorized. Where is he going? Where is he going? Launch authorized. Guess I missed. Remerge. Is 
Tim is in that horrible place now. In a booth with a Rafale. This is going to be sexy for the Valley viewers. It's getting slow. Loading that big wing, big old wing up. I've lost him. Nice. It's going to force him into an error here. How are you still flying, Simba? I'm not. I took the wings off. <laughs> good try. Good try. Punching out. Right, let's go to debrief, baby. Some stupid fights and some really good fights there. The end score, as we could see from the kinematics, the kinematics are starting to tell us the, the beginning charts, who's going to win. Like with 100% prediction now, it worked for the 22, now it worked for this. So, Rafael got one, two, three, four, five, eight versus the Typhoons 2, and I really had to work for them. And they were a bit lucky. It, making it roughly about four times as good, or three times as good, depending how you measure that. No, four times as good as a dogfighter. In real life, I'm pretty sure they should be about even. The original stats are about the same. In DCS, for some reason, they've made the Rafale four times as good as the Typhoon. They've made it much more, they've made it much lighter. They've made it turn better. I think the G tolerance is better, but I'm not entirely sure. Given the helmet amount of display and so on and so on. And there's really nothing you can do. Assuming equal pilot skill, there's nothing you can do to beat a ra uh, Rafale with a Typhoon in a fair fight. It's as simple as that. Any other conclusion from you, Simba? No, it was, it was gonna, kind of going to be kinematically the whole time. I wish we could get some sort of regulation in these mods to hold the guys who make them to account, to at least make them slightly... I'm not saying they have to be perfect, because obviously they'll never, never be perfect, but to within at least 10% of the real fighter. I think we'd have so much more fun with that. So obviously we're raising awareness of that, as well as having some fun dogfights. I hope you enjoyed it otherwise and we'll see you later.